Hey everyone, it's Conrad Bobby Luck here, CEO of Investors Prime Real Estate and best-selling author of Australian Real Estate Investing Made Simple. If you ever wanted to build substantial wealth through property investing, and I'm just talking about the kind of wealth that leaves a legacy behind and has the potential to replace your income, then watch this very short video because this could be the answer you've been looking for. Back in 2022, we recorded a four-day event called the Property Portfolio Accelerator Summit which was a four-day multi-speaker event teaching people how to build and structure and automate large property portfolios, the kind of properties that, and the portfolio that can replace your income. And we've assembled a line of speakers, probably some of the best consultants in Melbourne, and I'm talking about the best financial planning companies, uh, accounting firms, mortgage brokers, right down to property management, insurance, building inspections, and property sourcing experts in Melbourne. We've put them into one room and we recorded a, a really a home video course that teaches anyone from any walks of life on how to build structure and leverage themselves into wealth through property investing. And we've set it up in such an easy way that anyone can follow it, irrespective of your current experience, whether you've never invested in property before, whether you're a first home buyer or a seasoned investor. The home study and the video course is structured through self-paced learning and the manual, and it's really designed to get you started correctly from your first property that you source right down to whether you should be buying properties in trust, personal names, and how to structure yourself in a way where you're always protected and you're never at risk of losing your house or any other assets. Now, I understand at the moment there's a lot of doom and gloom in the media. There's a lot of prophecies in the market that the market's going to crash. You've got the war in Ukraine. You've got escalating uh, inflation, interest rates going up. Doom and gloom and a lot of uncertainty. And we've seen this in the media for the last few years. And despite all this doom and gloom, in Melbourne especially, and as in Sydney, there's been a lot of suburbs that have done extremely well during that phase. So a lot of people are scared and concerned. People are afraid of losing their money. People are afraid of losing their houses. People are afraid of overcommitting into property. People are afraid that interest rates will go even further and they won't be able to sustain their portfolio and they'll go bankrupt. I understand all these concerns. The key is most of these concerns are un unfounded. And the problem is, if you let these fear get into your psychology, you're never going to get off the ground and you're never going to build substantial wealth because believe it or not right now at the bottom of the market is potentially one of the best times to build get started building your property portfolio and the best opportunities are in the marketplace right now and the reality is that a lot of people are buying into this scaremongering we know the stats from the ato that really 71.6 percent of all property investors in australia only have one investment property and they're in the minority group. Most people never get started. Or if they do get started, they don't get started correctly and they lose what they have. They end up buying apartments in Docklands or South Bank or they buy house and land packages in areas that are far away from the city, never having gained any capital growth or making any kind of gains that they wanted to make. So who am I and why should you listen to me? Well, my background's quite conservative and boring. I wasted four years of my life at Monash University doing a business course Nearly did an MBA, more bad advice, but I thought I'd get out there in the real world and start making some real money. So I got into real estate, I got into banking and finance, I was a financier for NAB, working in mortgages, in commercial, residential and asset finance for Medfin. I used to work in financial planning for Australian Union Funds Management. And also, I've run a mortgage broking company. Uh, we were doing around $30 million in settlements per month with, with a substantial team of up to 28 people working for me at any one time. The most important thing is that I'm actually a successful property investor in Melbourne and I've been investing in the same market for nearly 25 years. Quarter of a century, guys, in the same market, believe it or not, you pick up a few clues. And what I've done is I've assembled a team of experts around me in Melbourne that are virtually second and to none that have allowed me to build substantial wealth, build a large property portfolio, the kind of property portfolio that allows my, my wife and my daughter and myself to travel extensively every year without worrying about bills or any kind of financial stress. 
I'm the author of Australian Property Finance Made Simple, which has gone number one bestseller internationally multiple times and number one bestseller on Amazon, as well as Real Estate Investing Made Simple, which has also gone number one on Amazon multiple times. In fact, on Amazon, I've been at number one for both books, and at the same time, my other book has been number five in this situation, where I've been on number one in real estate investments, number eight for finance in the same category, uh, also, um, there's been a number of times where my books have gone number one and three in a, in a top-selling category on Amazon in real estate or mortgages. So the book is a manual. It is not a book that really is designed to kind of excite you. Mortgage broking, believe it or not, can be quite boring, but the money that you make out of it, it can be exciting. And so many of times I've been featured... Uh, and this example is at Knox Shopping Centre in Melbourne, QBD Bookshop. My book has been featured between Robert Kiyosaki and Tony Robbins because it does have psychology as well as a blueprint on how to actually implement strategies that can make you real money and a lasting legacy that you can leave behind for your children and your family. So in Melbourne, believe it or not, despite all the doom and gloom, and all the failed predictions that the market's going to crash, there's a lot of areas that are actually doing really well. Uh, for example, Bond Beach has gone up by 35.5%, and this is from the June quarter 2022. Um, Warrenwood, 29.7%. Frankston South, 28.6%. Patterson Lakes, 28.1%. Edithvale, 27.5%. Nary Warren, North, 27.2%. 26.3 for Blackrock, Parkdale 23.7, Aspendale 22.9. Let me ask you something. Are you getting those kinds of returns in your current portfolio? Or more importantly, do you know how to identify suburbs like this with laser precision? And do you know which suburbs are going to be booming in 2023 and 2024? Well, the interesting thing is that most people don't, and that's why they, they fail to invest and they fail to build large wealth through property. See, most people react to the media, which is 95% of the market. 5% respond. And remember that during the bottom of the market, there's a transfer of wealth and the money flows from the uneducated to the educated. So the question that I have for you is, are you ready to be educated? Are you ready to really learn the information that is needed for you to make winning decisions more often than not? Because at the end of the day, there is an element of risk with investing, like with all types of investments, but the risk is not with the market, guys. The risk is always with you. You're the biggest risk when it comes to investing. And what I mean by that is your level of knowledge and your level of awareness will determine your outcome. The more level of awareness you have, the more level of uh, expertise you have, and the more experts around you have, the less likely you are to make mistakes and the more likely you are to make money through property investing. In fact, interestingly enough, in 22, there's a whole list of areas that are going to be booming despite the market being in a downward trend and losing 10% overall. But back in 2019, during COVID, I was predicting that certain suburbs are going to do double-digit growth and people were laughing at me on LinkedIn. They were saying it's impossible. These areas cannot go up in value. The economy has been shut down by dead injuries. People are not working. And during COVID-19, you can't have potential capital growth. Now, my video is on YouTube, by the way. It's date stamped. This is a video I made in September 22nd, 2019, predicting that these areas will do double-digit growth. And you can see that Albert Park, Port Melbourne, St Kilda, Brighton, Bentley, Bentley East, Elwood, Hampton, Sandringham, Blackrock, Balmorris. Now, that was back in 2019. This is what actually happened. And this is from December quarter 21. And this is the results that I predicted. And you can see there, BlackRock did 30%. Mentone, 29.6. Frankston South, 29.4. Molly Alec, 25.7. Albert Park, 24.1. Carum, 19.8. Parkdale, 19.7. Balmorris, 19.2. Frankston, 18.8. Seaford, 18.5. St Kilda, 16.9. Sandringham, 16.5. And 15.1 for Aspendale. These are the areas that I was sourcing in, and this is the, all I do is I source properties in these areas, and I help investors buy in these areas. And what I do is I'm going to teach you the exact methodology that I use to identify these suburbs with laser-like precision so you can go out there and do it yourself. Now, definitely the market, the market is cyclical. Absolutely, we are at, there's a peak of the market, decline of the market, bottom of the market, and the growth phase of the market. There's no question about it, but let me tell you something. 
after every major economic downturn is followed by a property boom. And even though we're at the bottom of the property cycle right now, in the next two years, we're going to experience the beginning of the next trend and the next property boom. And the question is, are you going to have the knowledge and education this time around to take advantage of the prevailing circumstances? Because you're either going to watch the market, get into the market, or wonder what the hell happened. You yourself will be placing yourself in your category, depending on your level of awareness and the team that you have. And remember, if you don't understand how to assess value, then everything becomes worthless. And this is the problem with most investors. They don't have the education, the skills, and the expertise to identify value and understand how to value properties and know whether you're overpaying, underpaying, or paying at market value. And that's exactly what we teach you during this course. And the reality is that if you don't understand this information, you're going to be placing yourself in this category, either never investing or being one of the 71.6% of investors who only have one house and one other investment property, not knowing how to get to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten properties. See, most people don't have any strategy behind them. They have a buy and hold, pray to God investment plan. And let me tell you something. You've got to have a written plan with goals and you've got to know how to implement it. If you don't have that and if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And this is what this course does. Rather than having you waste years and years going around in circles, buying the wrong type of properties in the wrong structure in the wrong places and paying at the wrong time and the wrong amount, it's going to get you from A to B in the fastest possible way. And that's because you can develop a strategy and more importantly, you've got the experts around you that can help you implement the strategy. And I'm talking about financial planners, mortgage brokers, lawyers, valuers, everyone that you need, including strategists who can develop plans for you, help you to stop making mistakes and buying the right property in the right area. Now, there's four critical parts of building any large property portfolio. And this is what we unpack during the four day course that we have online. Number one is having the right investor psychology and mindset, which is, which is everything. Having the right plan and system that is all encompassing based on your unique set of circumstances and your situation. Also having the right experts around you, having the right accountant, the right financial planner, the right mortgage strategies, and then understanding property selection methodology, how to find the best performing suburbs, and within those suburbs, find the best performing properties townhouses, apartments, or detached houses, and knowing exactly what to buy at which part of the property cycle. That's exactly what this course teaches you, step by step. And you see, when you put these things together, that is the very definition of success. If one of these things is out of sync, you are destined to fail. If your psychology is flawed and you have a fear of debt and debt structuring, you're never going to get into the property market because you're always going to justify why it's the wrong time to buy. If you have no plan and you've got the right psychology and the experts and property selection methodology, you're still not going to achieve your goals. If you have the wrong experts, the useless accountant that has that little practice between the laundromat and the milk bar, you know that little door, the little CPA? He can't help you, okay? You've got to go for accountants that are wealthy investors themselves who look after property investors. And if you choose the wrong properties, you're going to be destined to fail as well because we've seen properties in Docklands and places like Point Cook really underperform compared to other areas in the property market. So you've got to know how to choose the right property and learn how to do unbiased due diligence on your chosen area. All these things are covered extensively in this course and it's delivered by some of the sharpest minds in property investing right now in Melbourne. These are not academics, guys. These are lawyers, financial planners, accountants, building inspectors, that are doing real things with clients every single day. These are not theorists, they're not journalists. These are people that are actually helping their clients build massive property portfolios. And some of these experts, like Stephen McClutchy, have clients who have accumulated in excess of 100 investment properties as an individual. So have a think about that. These are people that are doing it every day and we're sourcing properties for these clients and that's exactly what we've covered over a four-day online home study course which we're releasing very shortly. This thing could be the difference between you building wealth or thinking about building wealth. And this could be the difference between really replacing your income and adding to your substantially to your bottom line and leaving a legacy behind for your children. Remember, the program is literally bulletproof. It is step by step. It doesn't make a difference of your current experience, your knowledge in property, 
We're assuming you're starting from zero and you want to go to a very high level where you'll know more than 99% of all investors out there. The course teaches you how to leapfrog equity from one property to another and how to build and structure a large property portfolio using trust and the right level of asset protection so your house that you live in is never at risk. Um, it also teaches you how to identify property cycles. It teaches you how to get the right team together, how to interview your mortgage broker, asset protection, due diligence, cash flow analysis, crunching the numbers, right down to having the right insurances in place, the right asset protection structures, right down to wills, estate planning, testamentary trust. It's all there, guys. It took me a year to plan to get these speakers into the room. The event cost me over $90,000 to put together, which was out of our personal funds. And uh, I'm very proud of what we achieved. I mean, I've never seen this information covered in any other forum. It is very unique. Um, I remember, the average Australian home may cost up to $6.3 million in just 21 years, a bombshell study has revealed. Projection shows median house prices will reach their figure in Sydney and by 2043, up from $1 million and 30000 today. The Aussie Homeowners and CoreLogic survey predicts the average price will hit $5.8 million in Melbourne, that's the median price for a detached house, $2.9 million in Canberra, $2.5 million in Perth, $2.9 million in Brisbane, and the biggest increase in Melbourne, which is $5.8 million. So have a think about that. If you knew absolutely that the average house in Melbourne will go from $800,000, to $5.8 million by 2043, what are you going to do to get your slice of this action? Are you going to sit on the sidelines and watch the whole market go up and people make a killing? Or do you finally want to be part of the game? Because ultimately the decision comes down to you. If you want to get into the game, you've got to learn the rules of the game. You've got to know how to play the game. And you want to play with the best players in the game. And remember, be fearful when others are greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. Currently, everyone is negative. Interest rates are going up. The war with Ukraine is putting pressure on energy prices and fuel. Goods and services are going up. There's a lot of uncertainty in the market. In fact, people are more negative now than during the subprime fallout in 2008. And this is why the smart money goes in. See, the smart money always buys at the bottom and they revalue their assets at the peak. The public gets their late and usually overpay at the peak of the market. Which part of this paradox do you want to be part of? The stealth phase? Or do you want to be where the public goes in at the very peak and overpay? Because really, that's, that's what most people do. So if you want to learn once and for all how to take advantage of the prevailing circumstances and build your wealth, then I definitely encourage you to uh, scroll down below, check out the price for this online video course, and get started immediately. This is Conrad Bobulak. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the inside. Thank <laughs> you.